I am fairly certain I need healing. I apologize I have a cold at the moment, but nevertheless, I have a spare moment. So Final Fantasy the White Mage Challenge. Now, I've spent so long doing this. I have max potions, I am level 15. We're up to 14 hours now. I want to get through this cave. <sighs> right. And I go the wrong way again. We're not going left. Left leads to death, despair, and loss and loss of Gygases. Right, we're level 15. Main benefit of level 15, we have three level 5 spells. Also, I bought Cure Free for everyone. And I bought some other things, but I'll show as soon as I beat these anacondas. By the way, we're slightly stronger now, but only slightly. I think I managed about two strength boosts um, in the two levels. However, apparently we've got some agility boosts because white seems to be evading quite a lot. By the way, white's hit points are ridiculous. But inevitably, not enough. <sighs> we need more defensive items. Oh, mud, just something. White mages are horribly underpowered in this game. I mean, red mages get swords. Armor, the ability to cast white and black level spells. Yeah, red mages are just far superior to white mages. But nevertheless, white uh, red mages will make this game a bit too easy for me. There is another challenge which I've heard about and uh, was considering actually. Even as just a follow-up, just to almost catch up and overtake this challenge. The low-level challenge, which is two warriors, two red mages, and basically trying to go through the game at, at lower level as possible. So, 200 gil. And also, can crash the game out, because being low-level, they get two... There was a little bug in the original version of this game, where if you leveled up twice in one go, you kind of crash it. I'm not sure whether they fixed that for the Origins versions. It'd be fun to find out. Anyway, Tarantulas, let's deal with them. Uh, excuse me, two seconds, I've got to sneeze. And you didn't want to hear that, so I turned the microphone off. Convenient that. Things I do for you. Anyway, Tarantulas. Not doing a lot of damage, but, uh, I'm about to say, not quite poisoning me either. Come on. Right, Tila also has our Asunas. Which, yeah. I still think it's. My idea of just buying loads and loads of antidotes is a cheaper alternative to buying Asuna, but. Yeah, it's been seeming useful enough. Uh, actually, let's just use the antidote. Tila has a more powerful weapon, she can attack. Take 24 damage. Do, do. Well, that's attack. And the tarantula is still alive. But he's now dead. We get a load of gill, a load of EP, all of which were us. Anyway, as I was saying partially earlier, I still need to sell this copper amulet. Every time I... Ah, uh, whatever. We're about 6,000 to 4,000 from leveling. As you can see, stat increases, we now have Intelligence 29. Making our spells quite powerful at the moment for what they are. Um, magic. Heal 2 and Cure 3 on White. Dire 3 and Cure 3 on Priest. Life 1, Cure 3, Dire 3 on Shaman. Life 1, Heal 2, Cure 3 on Healer. I will still be buying Heal 2 for Priest and probably actually Dire for um, white, because giving white life is a bit, um, just a bit seemingly wasteful. Now, I think this is the one we've already gone in, actually, now I think about this. Three ogre chieftains. Ah, what the hell, we'll go and fight them. This is a mistake. Let's find out how much of a mistake it is. Why is that taking too much damage from the chieftains? As long as they don't have a stupid amount of hit points, this is easy enough. White, though, will need to cast one of her lovely little cure freeze on herself now.
But we're going to be so tooled up to beat Undead once um, White says Dire Free as well. 91 hit points back in one go. And we're still trying to beat down the first over Chieftain. They're worth a lot of gold, comparatively. And that's one thing we're not short on anymore. One down. No, I think we managed to break the 50,000 gold barrier before I bought those spells. Not sure what we're at now, but... We bought a lot of spells. And the next level spells, which um, aren't relevant to us just yet because we can't cast them, Although they do have Warp 2 in the next spell slot. Yay! No idea how much I want that. You're still alive, aren't you? Anyway, I think they're selling for about 20,000 each. Might be 16, I can't remember. Either way, it's more than double what, um, what we're paying for our level 5 spells that are breaking the bank. Ugh. I should not have fought these, they're just... They have a stupid amount of hit points. Uh, throw out heal too. One thing I haven't done in all my excursions to this cave, I still haven't checked the map. So, yeah. I know there are five floors, because I skimmed through it a while back, but I can't remember the layout. Well then, that's more fun that way. Right, one to go. And now they're suddenly hitting for a lot more. Now there are weapons we've had which are strong against ogres. I think there was an o a giant slayer and an ogre slayer swords we've sold off in the um, because they're useless to us. A giant slaying sword would be quite useful against the Gygases, actually. Yeah, that's probably why you trip why they're there just so you can train if you've got warriors or even red mages. Bam. Defeated! We get 201 and 900 gil. Really not worth it. I've gone the wrong way, haven't I? Yes. Right. Let's use up some potions. Everyone above 200 ish. And get white to 300, just because that's about the same level, really. There they are, going around in circles. Let's flee from these. They poison us, they poison us, but... Oh no, the, the, the other ones I'm thinking of. Duh. So, that was a waste of time. Go left then. More anacondas, we'll flee from these. Because I want to make progress this video. However little, I want to make progress. Wrong way is not progress. And at the corner, we're up against Five anacondas who strike first. Miss, miss. 17 damage. 12 damage. Ouch. Anyway, let's run away from this. Largely because they're not going to level us that much, really. And I'd rather farm at the point um, I've been farming, which is um, Astos's castle. Because at the very least, I can kill those relatively easily, and they're worth a lot of money. I'm getting it up. 600 minimum, really, gil every to fight, which is paying for spells. Speaking of which, as I briefly mentioned, oh, we only have 8,000 left, but consider the amount of spells we've bought, 8,000 a spell, plus all the potions I've bought, plus, I think I bought a couple of, yeah, I bought an additional cottage. Alright, chests. The first random encounter. Random encounter are a couple, yeah, random encounter are. Random encounter is a couple of Minotaurs. We shall flee from these. Or try to. No, we shall flee from them. Right, save state. The chest did not have a guardian. That one did. Yeah. And it's another Noma. We'll attack and then we'll put our invisibility stuff up and then deal with you. Because you still hit for ridiculous amounts. Blink. 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 Yeah, 113 to white. That's excessive, shall we say? It really is. Let's use 
Excuse me again. That's better. Right. Alright then. Um, kill thyself. Attack. Invisibility on priest. Invisibility on healer. Largely because they're the damage dealers. And white is just the meat shield. Only 69 there. Cast a cure too. Attack, attack, attack. Rah, one damage. Well, as slow and tedious as this is... Yay! 14 damage. Yay! More than one damage. Uh, there may be something reasonably good in here, but I don't think there is. And even if there is something good in here, the chances of the White Page Party being able to use it virtually nil. Money would be okay. Not overly worth it in the long grand scheme of things, but it would be okay. So now we've explored south both directions, realistically we can only go north to find the way down. North, I mean up. But I shall continue to refer to it as north because that's what I do. Seemingly built in these days. Well, this has been an exciting video, much like the last few actually. Well, we've still got some time left. Hopefully I'll make some. I want to make progress. Come on. Can't have too many hit points left. Well, he can, but he shouldn't. We'll save all of Shaman's um, life spells, in case we want to convert them into dire spells a bit later. And at least they're all in Fury in the safe zone now. They were in the safe zone, albeit very briefly. Come on. Priest, heal by... S Normally that would be the correct move, but heal by self. And that's 105 straight back. We love the cure free spell, really. Come on. Seriously? Come on, fall over already. Have some pity on us. We have white mages. This is what we're supposed to do. Yay! He had pity on us and fell over. Alright, that was almost worth it. Was it? No. Is the quick and... I'm sorry, why guard a chest with a single potion in it? It makes no sense and we're going to get poisoned to... Absolute death here, aren't we? Well, they can only poison us four times at the very least. Flee, 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 flee. Do, 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 do. Oh, that wasn't so bad. Right, let's use up our potions. Including the one we got for beating that really tough boss. Oh, and we use it. Actually, no, no, no. We have the spell, we'll use it. Right, this leaves north, slash up, slash whatever direction you want to call it. Cobras, they're going to poison us to death as well, aren't they? No, we're high enough level that we are causing things to flee. Right. 
Well, it's a good feeling, but... Um, one Minotaur, who strikes first? Ah, let's go for it. At least we do damage to this thing. So it, I don't mind if they got ridiculous numbers of hit points. What I mind is that I'm hitting for one all the time. It's kind of depressing. Hitting for 15, I at least feel like I'm accomplishing something. Even if he does have 2,000 hit points. At least I'm not getting there one at a time. And enough of that with Astos. And I'm sure we'll have much, much joy of that in the future. My grammar's all over the place today, I apologise. And so am I, because I've been here before. It's been over two hours since I've done it as well, I'm next to certain. Right, we're fleeing from you, you've got too many hit points, so we can't be bothered. Right, I'm going to look at a map after I'm done with this. I really am. Right, I'm going to go outside and burn a cottage, I think. Uh, no, we'll, we'll, well, we won't burn a cottage, but we might do it in a moment. Although the thing is, if I was going to burn a, go outside to burn a cottage, I'd go back and... Yeah, whatever. Strike the first Minotaurs. Flee, 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 flee. Thank you. Right. Which direction haven't I been in? Because this goes to the Gygus area, doesn't it? Yes, it does. I'm not going down there again. Not, no, no, not there, ever. Have I not gone right then? It's the only thing I can think of. I must not have gone right. Yeah. It's always the last place you look. Or rather, it's always the most stupid or the most obvious place you look. And the most obvious thing in a video game, if in doubt, scroll to the right. Stupid thing, of course, would be trying to, uh, I don't know, fall down a tower level for the sake of it, I don't know. Or being involved in a white mage challenge. Ah, Terra Cavern, basement level 2. Right, progress has been made. Huzzah! This is going to stop my progress, isn't it? No, it's just a bunch of cobras. I quite like that one of you ran away. I'd prefer you do that more often, though. If only because it looks kind of cowardly that we keep doing it. Right, how many Sunas have we got left? Just the one. Right, let's head down this way. Where we find four Cobras. We'll run from those as well. <sighs> and once again we're poisons. That's our last Asuna used up. We might have to go out and... Um, Use a cottage just so we get our Asunas back. And this game is really punishing me for saying it's a bad spell. I still testify that it is. Multiple, multiple... I mean, 4,000 gills worth of um, antidotes would be... Uh, almost certainly far more efficient. Right, you're going to slash me to pieces, aren't you? It's not even that you do a lot of damage anymore, it's that there's that many of you. Eight of something is a bad, is a recipe for disaster in this game, almost regardless of what they are. <sighs> the level 15 white mage party. We run from everything. Perfect advert for heroism. Or at least survival. And around here we have six tarantulas. We'll run from those as well. Because that's what we decide to do. Once we meet the vampire though, Dire to death. I think he's on the third floor. I don't think. Oops. Yeah, we now have only five poison cures left. Right. Down, which turns out to be a mistake. More cobras. Do 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 do. Hey, I found a way to make progress in this challenge. Run from everything. Well, I think I've had enough running so once I get past. Alright, we'll fight you. Just because I feel like it, and time is up. 
So as soon as you are dead, I shall end the video. If you kill me in the process, I'll be slightly annoyed at it. Come on. Hammer time. There we go. Right, and nearly 500 gil for a minor tour. They're quite worth it, really. So, um, next time, Final Fantasy The White Mage Challenge versus the Vampire. Which should be entertaining. Till then.